Hey, we're going trucking with Chris today, and we're going to the place that keeps the truck running, Butch Itzy's Garage, the last honest mechanic. <laughs> Mom's amazing. She's 86, better shape than me, and she never misses. Every Thursday, she makes pasta, meatballs, sausage for anybody that comes into the shop. Well, I started about eight years old with my dad, and uh, went from there and still with my dad until he passed away. But he used to make me go up and get uh, the wrenches, and he would say, uh, "Too big or too small," and I'd have to run because he was always in a hurt run to get these wrenches and then. I always brought the wrong size. I said, well, Dad, how do, how do you know what size they are? And he says, there's numbers on them. I said, well, where's the numbers? Half inch, nine sixteen. So once he showed me the numbers, then I started asking what size wrench that you want. <laughs> if I could bring the right wrench to him. But that was, I was about seven, eight years old. So you're completely self-taught then? Yes. Okay, what kind of cars do you work on? All Lamborghinis, old, old cars from the 30s up to the brand new ones, all the models. So... What in the world keeps you going in this business? Because I advertise you as the last honest mechanic. You know, you don't cheat people, you no. give them a fair deal, all that stuff. Well, I went to Larmer School, it's still down there. It's, no, it's been closed for years. And first grade uh, teacher, I was scared, and everybody said, you know what the golden rule is? And nobody, I was just starting school, nobody knew what we what were talking about. And she says, uh, Go on the road, do on to other people you want to do on to you, treat people that you want to be treated. And I change, I add a little bit to it. I says, don't say with your mouth, your ass can't take. I don't know if we could say this live or not, but you can beep it. But, and that's why I treated my customer, I treat them the way I want to be treated. How long can you keep doing this? As long as I can. I'm not going to retire. Nobody's going to want no old people, so I'll just come here and do what I do. You like what you do? Yes. Yeah, yeah, I told you to meet a lot of nice people over the years. Take care of yourself, man. You're the best. <laughs> you know, it's best. you, buddy. You're the best. 25 years coming here. At least. How many, how many, had, how many problems you ever had? <laughs> None once you fix them. <laughs> and you show me the parts, too. <laughs> oh, yeah. There, there I got to show you shorts. Come. You see them over there? There's a pop.